Yes, that is me, finally able to do a drum cover to the song Bleed, thanks to the most efficient drum set in the world. However, this gave me an idea. You guys remember when I did this video two years ago where I played all of the blast beats for the first time ever? Yeah, these were really freaking hard, and I was pretty bad at most of them. And that got me thinking, you know, if I really buckled down and practiced these, then I can make a progression video of where I started to where I am now. And over the past two years, dude, I have not worked on these at all, not even a little bit. If anything, I'm worse at them now than I was back then. However, while I may not have improved musically at that genre, I have definitely improved in being smart at things. What if instead of for practicing countless hours on my skills on the drum set, I were to just rearrange the drum set to better fit my current skill set? Ah, big brained ideas. So that's what we're doing here. I'm gonna rearrange my whole drum set to fit each blast beat to make myself better at them. So let's get on it. Drum setup number one. Oh yes, so we have uh, the quadruple pedal setup over here. Uh, we got this pedal goes to the cymbal. This pedal goes to the snare drum. And then on the left side, it's a mirror image inside cymbal, outside snare drum. And then here we have the, uh, the patent pending uh, stand up bass drum. As you can see, I have a very sturdy tenor stand holding it up in the front and then the legs are as far out as they can be holding it down so I can play it with my hands. So another thing with this quadruple setup, if you put your foot directly in between the two pedals, it'll play both of them at the same time. Ugh. Okay. Yeah, I have to use this little baby seat because the drum is so low here. And also I'm using a marching bass drum mallet so I don't destroy the drum head. Although uh, I don't think bass drum pedals are that good for the snare drum and cymbal. Well, you gotta make some compromises in life. So the first blast beat we're gonna do is called the bomb blast. So we got uh, 16th notes on the bass drum. Very easy when you don't have to do it with your feet. All right, we gotta do it with our hands now. So then the other part is uh, snare drum and cymbal on every single eighth note. Now we can do that easily with this doubled snare cymbal setup. We do uh, just down beats with the right foot, up beats with the left foot. So you got eighth notes. So if we put it together nice and slowly, let's uh, see how this goes here. I'm doing great things out here. Great things are being accomplished today. All right, let me see if I can like improvise a little on that. Uh, my options are a little limited. Uh... I'd say that one is a massive success. I am definitely way better and way faster at that when we have this setup. All right, I'm gonna try one more uh, with this same setup. This one's called the uh, Diarrhea Blast. Okay, so we got uh, quarter notes this time on the snare slash cymbal, so one, two, and then we fill in between that with two notes to make it a 12-8 triplet feel, so. Yeah, we're killing it out here. All right, some improv now. Oh, 
Oh man, this is working out a lot better than I thought it would. Oh boy, let's move on to the next drum setup. Drum setup number two. Very similar to the first one, I basically just switched the bass drums and snare drums, so we got uh, double bass drums here, and a single snare drum in the middle. And I moved the cymbals to the outside, still with the uh, quadruple pedal technique, so you can hit both together. And then we have this other bass drum out here, just because I need to put this microphone in the center and the mic only attaches to a bass drum rim. And probably my favorite part of the setup is I get to use my big boy stool because there's no weird low bass drums laying on the ground. So the beat we're doing with this setup is called the Gravity Blast. And in a normal drum setup, you would uh, do this kind of thing with a snare drum to play 16th notes where you have a one-handed roll. It's like a rim note. So basically you're using the rim to hit down and then back up like that. But thanks to this setup, we don't need to do that. We can just use both hands to get maximum quality. And similar to the bomb blast, your feet, you're just on all quadruple pedals. You just play right, left, right, left, eighth notes. So honestly, this is just exactly the same thing as the bomb blast. We just switched the bass drums and the snare drum. So this should be easy to figure out. This is wild watching the cymbals. They're just like going absolutely nuts. And we are back to the baby chair for a drum setup number three. I call this one the inverted Mickey Mouse setup. So for this one, we do not need our quadruple pedals. We just need a double pedal on right cymbal and left cymbal. Because the rest is played with our hands on these two snare drums and single bass drum. So we are now doing the Gravity Bomb, which I think is the hardest one out of all of the blast beats. It is the same thing as the Gravity Blast, except instead of 8th note bass drums, it's 16th note bass drums. So the only thing that has 8th notes is the cymbals, which will be the same thing we've been doing with the feet, just right, left, right, left, 8th notes. So with my hands, in order to get 16th notes on snares and bass drums, I am going to do this. Ah, oh, crap. I'm gonna do this, four mallet technique. Well, two mallets and two sticks technique. Yeah, so we'll just play 16th notes like such. And that should work, hopefully. Hold on, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna try a different grip real quick. Yeah, my issue, I'm not hitting the center of the drum, so if I do, ooh, yeah. Yeah, I should get more, more quality if I can be in the center. Wacky and weird drum set number four. Ooh, we have our big boy stool back out. So this time we have, uh, once again, just the double pedal. Both of the pedals go to the bass drum here. 
And uh, for the first time ever, our cymbals are in the upright position, not being played with our feet. And we have the snare drum right here in front of us. Oh, this is a normal drum set, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, that's right. A lot of the blast beats, there is no possible way to make them easier by switching the setup. It's just, you know, you gotta be good at the normal setup. So we're just gonna do my favorite blast beat with this setup. It's called the Dirk Blast. It is basically flam accents with your hands. If you know that rudiment, then you have a jump start on this one. So you just move the accents to the cymbals and play all the inner stuff on the snare drum. And then you also play the triplet eighth notes on the bass drum. Now I know what you've all been thinking this whole video, all right? You're thinking, well, Eric, all right? Not everyone is just out there making YouTube videos. How is somebody gonna do this at a live show, rearranging their drum set over and over for each song? And yeah, that is a massive logistical issue, right? You can't just, you know, suddenly have, you know, bass drums on the ground and then move it to snare and then put the cymbals up and then back down. No, it doesn't work like that. You would need some kind of gigantically massive, huge drum set for no reason. Welcome to the gigantically massive huge drum set for no reason. With this drum set, we can play all of those blast beats the way we organized, thanks to the revolutionary sextuple pedals. So these three separate pedals on each side, this one goes to the cymbal, this one goes to the bass drum, and this one goes to the snare drum. And yes, we busted out the duelist pedal. Oh man, I'm getting war flashbacks from doing that video. But for this video, we're just doing a single pedal mode until my foot accidentally hits uh, this part and it goes to double pedal. And of course we have the identical setup over here. Cymbal, bass drum, snare drum. And right in front of me, we have the stand-up bass drum with the two snare drums on either side, making another Mickey Mouse face. And for good measure, I added a whole bunch of cymbals and some toms all over and a cowbell for obvious reasons. I hope you're ready for the most metal drum solo you've ever heard, maybe. Well, this sure was an interesting experiment. Hopefully you had as much fun as I did. I also highly recommend checking out this video where we built the quadruple 64th note playing bass drum pedal. Thank you to everyone who supports me on Patreon and also to everyone who has bought something from the EMC merch store. And have a good morning.